Have you guys ever thought to yourself, hey, let's break tabs with mods? Like, say, what if you just made certain things bigger? <laughs> or, you know, just changing units so instead of arrows, it fires snakes! And then our frames fall, just like the enemies of the snake Artemis here, as they get literally overwhelmed and eaten alive. Or I guess dead too. Ho ho ho! Our first breakage! By snakes! Or maybe you just want to see a unit that will literally run up to the enemy and blow them out of the map. <laughs> the number of units you can count in the sky right now is absurd! Goodbye forever! But seriously, this might be my new favorite unit that we just stumbled across. The XP, AXP Loader, aka the Exploder. Now, watch this closely, because these guys are going to the moon. Hello, Tovarish. I am part of Russian space program. Look back at planet to see our progress. You know, I really think some of them are gonna break out of orbit even and just go off into space. The sheer force of this impact, I swear it's almost like nuclear in force, and it makes me wonder, who's gonna be the first modder to make a mushroom cloud nuclear device? Some mods are much less sinister, but more cinematic in feel. Here we go. Here's our gladiators charging forth. Some of these mods are this, just like amazing in that regard. They make factions that are not in the game yet or may not ever be in the game. Are you not entertained? Oh God, swing at him <laughs> right in the neck. Other mods just kind of build on what we have here. Mythological, then godly units. Zeus, Artemis, and God? Is that you, or is that the chicken man-man incarnate? And then there's the secret units that are always fun to test the mods against. Look at this. It's the battle for Titan. Okay, that unit can teleport and literally throw units in the air. Artemis is... I think that's Super Artemis because she just exploded into a flurry of so many arrows. I think that's like 30 arrows every half of a second? This battle only lasted a few seconds. These are samurai giants. Some of the greatest competitors, look at that! The new god unit is able to teleport behind them. Artemis, I don't know what you're doing! You're gonna- I'm surprised she- well, no, she has. Somehow Zeus is just literally the god of dodging. I- I mean... How did you do that? Other mods take advantage of the amazing mechanics that are in tabs, like... You know, the Scarecrow that is able to summon crows. Well, what if you themed your units gray-skinned and you wanted to make them orcs? And then you made an orc summoner. And then there's these guys holding each other's hands and swords and going off into battle. I don't know if it's due to camaraderie or they're trying to push the other guy in front of them so he dies first. You never really know with orcs. Oh my god, they've got a cave troll. Now, I'm not sure what he's doing other than pulling this apple out of his armpit, but this is what you call an atomic bomb thrower. Can we break tabs using nukes? Probably, sir. Oh my god, what is that? He just made a shield of apples. Oh god Are they bouncing what what uh? Sir, you're gonna need to try a little bit harder with these apple throwing throw it do it Do it. They're right there enemies at the gates. Let's put him a little bit closer this time So he likes to eat some grass Maybe he's trying to tell the animals below that like, hey, it's gonna be really loud and noisy up here. Or maybe he's just gonna break himself. Let's try that one again. Oh my god. Pause it right here. Look at the map. You see units flying outside of the map, you know that modded unit is amazing. And it's causing my game to freeze up at times, so you know it's almost breaking it. Needless to say, atomic weaponry might just be what is needed to break the game. Or maybe you just want to make the smallest unit in the game the biggest unit! And you want to put this halfling titan against the aptly named Titan Killer, who has the berserker ability and jumps up to try to stab the hobbit in the face. This is a battle of the ages, ladies and gentlemen, up until Mr. Hobbit here. Oh my god! Who, who do you think's gonna win here? 
Titan Killer or Halfling Titan? This is incredible. So this is the Omega mod we're going to be trying out today. Link's going to be in the video description below. And we're going to be trying out some of the most ridiculous, some of the most fantastic ones, some of the most... Silly units in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. You'll notice every now and then they both like to like lay on the ground and just kind of take a nap. You know, take a moment for themselves as Mr. Swordmaster here's got one sword between his legs, one up in fighting position, I guess, although in his mind, they're both fighting positions. So stay clear. This battle seems like it's been going on for five minutes. We still have no winner yet, Titan or Titan Killer. And there you have it, Mr. Titan Killer. He died in the eyes of his puppy dog, who was turned to a rock by Medusa? Or what if you just need a unit for a particular situation that you don't have, like the biggest shield wall ever? Well, how about a custom ballistic called the tank? Watch this. You ready for this? You may fire when ready. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of ballista bolts. So let's watch some fun, silly physics. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just wiped out half of the army. Oh my god. All right, do it again. <laughs> Please do it again. So this is from one of the World War II factions. He's got a long reload rate. Maybe it's 152 millimeters. Now, for those of you familiar with tanks, you know, it takes a while to reload the refrigerator of Stalin. The Tower of Stalin, the 152. Oh my god. So these are called Jeeps. I guess it's pretty fitting because they're open top. There's three people. You got the driver and you got the two gunners here. And they're able to fire a pretty decent amount of arrows. So watching them literally plow through this shield wall is amazing. So maybe you just want to build a faction that's not in the game yet. Here being the World War II faction. Let's see them all. Here we've got the Jeep. We just saw it. Here's some soldiers, and it looks like they're able to fire two arrows in a row. This guy, however, is named the Bazooka. Let's see why. I don't know if he's gonna have a ballistic shell, but I think, okay. Look at that. That's a lot of explosive power. Now, oh, this is gonna be great. We're gonna see so many guys get launched. Look at that. It, <laughs> there's a shield. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Billy, you're having a bad day unless you want to fly. Oh my god, that's incredible. Units flying everywhere. The explosive rounds, the explosive arrows from the bazooka are just flying. These guys are turning their backs on the automatically firing soldiers, which I don't think is a good idea. Incoming bazooka fire, gentlemen! Oh, they're not ready. They're not ready. They're not even facing the right way. And there they go. This, these poor soldiers here are using bunkers. Come on, keep using the bunkers. They build in trenches. See, the Roman soldiers aren't ready for trench warfare. We learned it in World War I, we learned it in World War II. But definitely in World War I here. These are old school tactics, boys. Although I guess it's relatively futuristic for you guys. Look at this. The battlefield is covered in arrows because we don't have bullets yet. Is that who I think it is? One Punch Man. Oh my god. This isn't looking good. So, what? He's already over here! All he needs is one punch, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 okay. We, <laughs> I think this is, <laughs> look at that shield. Look at <laughs> These guys are literally flying everywhere! This might be the best unit I've ever seen in Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. The sheer kinetic force of this guy. He's creating wormholes and warp holes. He only needs one punch, but he's, he's doing a lot of punches, I guess, for our viewing pleasure. And that may have been the fastest battle I've ever seen. I feel like we've already said that. And go. Three. Two. I should count the other way, shouldn't I? One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven seconds? I mean, maybe they were seconds, I don't know. I wasn't one Mississippi in it, but it was long enough for this guy to do a death dab literally through a shield. Physics in the space-time continuum are being broken by the man at the center of it all. One punch man slash, I don't know. He could probably beat Thor, Thanos, 
Hulk. As the ice giants wake up and do their morning yoga routine here, they're getting their stretches on. Look at this. This one seems pretty spry. This one's probably leading the crew. But One Punch Man, we're gonna see just how good you are. Can you beat all of the ice giants? Oh my, I've never, hold on. I've never seen an ice giant. They're already dead. One Punch Man. One Punch, he's living up to his billing. Hold on. Okay. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, three Mississippis. There's only one of them, but when you talk in time, there can be multiple. Only three Mississippis for him to dispatch six of them? Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. All right, to fight One Punch Man, we're gonna need an, a complete army of some of the best secret units. We're gonna have the Shogun, a melee specialist. The samurai giants here who are big and bad. A lot of Artemises and a few senseis here to... I'm hoping that they dish out the damage. Now, oh, they actually are landing arrows. Oh, these are the, these are the silly Artemises, by the way, so... Which is actually probably better. Oh my god. I can't see anything. The screen is covered in arrows. Uh, <laughs> we have to do this in slow motion because these two people are turning into like supernovas, but instead of just like solar flares and exploding stars, it's just a Greek goddess here firing arrows. It's like she's had way too much caffeine in the morning. What is going on here? Uh, I, I don't know where he went. Guys, can you find... The One Punch Man? Let- oh! Here he is trying to break through the map itself! It looks like a meteor just hit! This mod, they're called School! And this is the School Summoner! Oh, he- what? Who's this guy? It's a mace-wielding- Is it a professor? A janitor? A PE coach? Is this Denver? My second best PE coach? Okay, that was really fast. So say you want to go to night school, and I'm not talking about the one in the evenings, but you want to get some nice armor and a shield, and you want to become a squire. This guy's called the Ultra Squire, and it looks like he tried out for the football team, got kicked out, and then decided to try to be a squire. I guess you do what you gotta do. So he's got some pretty cool looking armor. He's got some very fast movement. This guy was probably a wide receiver, maybe a cornerback. I don't know. He- ugh, Right in the throat. Well, he's living up to his name. And in the red corner, weighing in at whatever death weighs, this is- It looks like he's a bone mage guy, but he's the reaper. Oh my goodness. And then we've got Artemis. Greek god of war. They're gonna be fighting here. Artemis, you're supposed to use your shield to block the incoming attack, not move it out of the way so you can give this this weird demon worshiper a big old hug. Well, I guess it worked out for you, didn't it? Artemis god of war looks pretty cool. Uh, Axe Brute, I want to apologize ahead of time for what I'm about to put you through. You might go to space. Because we, no that's not Robin Hood, no that's not Artemis, this is a Fire Artemis, who fires a ton of... <laughs> oh yes, you are going... <laughs> he actually got hit by some more in the air. Oh my gosh. Maybe we need Fire Artemises to fight One Punch Man. I- that might be the only way to stop him. I think we've gotta try it out. We're gonna try to defeat... One Punch Man. He seems to be the ultimate modded unit that I've seen in the game right now. This guy's really good at staying alive while flying through the air. Look at this! It's gorgeous! <laughs> I wish he had wings, man! I wish you could use these rockets. Like, you could have a jetpack unit of some sort. Yeah, you're never gonna get over there, are you? Yeah, you're- you're turning into just a human tornado. One Punch Man himself, and a whole bunch of Fire Artemises. Oh, that's why they're firing randomly. <gasps> They've landed some hits on- I- I don't know what just exactly happened. I think they're shooting each other. We've got bards in the air, we've got Fire Artemises in the air. 
And One Punch Man is not even bothered. I don't think this is gonna work. All I think this is gonna do is make me have to squint my eyes because it looks like my computer monitor is on fire. The entire map is on fire. This is just... This is like... This reminds me of the scene of Patriot. Oh, I love fireworks. Look at this. <laughs> I can't keep up with what's going on. I don't think you can defeat One Punch Man. I think he's invincible. I think we found the most invincible modded unit. Unless he goes off the map. Well, there's far less units on the map anymore. Uh, where is everybody? Blue victory! One Punch Man was red. I think he may have either launched himself off the map or finally gotten hit with enough rocket arrows. This unit looks awesome what he is the asian god and he's dodging so many arrows with his teleportation ability okay some of them he gets hit on the legs but he can just keep teleporting closer and closer and closer so i don't think well i guess it does i guess it does matter i love how every now and then you just see these random ones like I wanted to still be here and contribute to the team effort! <laughs> oh my god. It looks like someone's just l dropped napalm on the fields outside of the castle, or it's Disney World and it's Happy New Year! <laughs> and we got units <laughs> flying in the sky, and the Asian god is chasing them. We've got, This is like any aircraft fire. This is like the invasion of Iraq, man! Oh no! Don't fall off the map! You better not. He's dodging these rockets. The space program is not working on him. Uh, I think... I wonder if he could beat One Punch Man. Anyway, guys, today we just wanted to try to break the game. And as much as we tried, look at how many firework arrows there are. The game is just really, really stable. The crashes that we experienced in the past are no longer here, and instead, we've made the game even more beautiful. So as we sit here watching the fireworks of battle happen below, <laughs> oh my gosh, I guess that's how you could do napalm. I wonder if you could like script things like meteor showers, airstrikes, artillery barrages from quote off screen. This is glorious. Welcome to Dabs if you're new. Ah. Breaking the game with mods has never been more fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.